sail over to the eastern shore of the loch, which is the less inhabited site. There is no road, no rail running parallel to water. Only a famous footpath and nature trail. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, we're just about to set off on the Great Trossachs Path, which is a 50 km trail starting from Inversnade on the east coast of Loch Lomond, winding its way past a number of locks and ending up in uh, the town of Callander. So uh, we're going to do this over two days, so about 25 km today and 25 km tomorrow. Um, and we're probably going to wild camp somewhere on uh, Loch Catrin along the way. We haven't got really any plans other than that, so we just kind of see how it goes and just enjoy the trail. Right, you ready? Yeah, yeah, out of images. Yeah, out of images, right, let's go. obstacle over or under under I think easy Made bunkhouse. We love the bunkhouse. Yes, we do. <laughs> Found an angry 
Prairie Goose. Over there in the distance, you might just be able to see um, Loch Katrin, which is where we're heading next. But right now, we just need to find somewhere for lunch. Okay, so we can go right to Stranaklaka, where there's a cafe, and potentially find somewhere to eat. Or we can go left and just carry on and find somewhere along the way, hopefully. What do you think? Nothing. Left, all right, we're gonna keep going. Oh, I'm getting eaten alive already by me just stopping for five seconds, it's a bad idea. Oh. So what was it? Str strong McClacker? Strong McClacker. Strong McClacker. These crows are following us. Are you following us?
So we reached the most northern tip of Loch Katrin. So now we're making our way back, sort of south southeast. Um, and we're going to hopefully find a good camping spot. So there's a little peninsula down there, if you can see. It's kind of got some kind of little walled garden. You can see that little shimmering patch in the distance. That is Loch Arklet, where we were earlier today. quite a nice little spot to sit so we're gonna have a little rest here I think delight. So we could have carried on going along the road but we instead decided to go on the cycle track and I think we made the right decision.
You missed the cat. Yeah. How much? Lots. Ah yes, of course. Hello, my old friend. Sun. that you might just be able to see is where we're planning to go camp so hopefully there'll be some nice flat ground over there and we'll see you in a minute Islands that, in purpled bright, floated amid the livelier light, and mountains that, like giants, stand to sentinel enchanted land. High in the south, huge Ben Venu, down on the lake in masses through, crags, knolls, and mounds confusedly huddled, the fragments of an earlier world. A wildering forest feathered o'er, his ruined sides and summit hoar. While in the north, through middle air, Ben An heaved high his forehead bare. Well, what a beautiful spot to camp. We've got the views, we've got the water source. So we're probably just gonna set up our uh, tent now. We just recently got a Lanshan 2 Pro so this will be our first time setting up in the wild so let's see how it goes. So we're just getting settled into our own personal peninsula here. It's not even much wind and no midges, which is amazing. Got this little rock here for us to sit on, and then we're just setting up the transi now to cook some burgers. So we've got our transi and non-stick frying pan. White trays, bags. I don't know if you can hear me over the sizzling, but um, yeah, so we're done with first day now. Um, both feeling alright, I think. 
was, wasn't too hard. It wasn't hard walking at all. It was mostly flat, a few undulating parts, but um, it was just the road, the road walking really that kind of kind of gets your feet. Um, it's, a, it's a great cycle track, but I think you know it's, a lot of it is just on tarmac, private road. Um, as soon as you get to Lock Catherine, you're kind of just following this private road, and the the, the scenery is beautiful. Like it's it's all kind of native woodland, and there's no you know plantations or anything it's all just nice um, forest and, and uh, lockside walking but um yeah there is the alternate route that you can do um, just for a little bit at least it's the cycle track that you kind of go right next to the lock uh, and that's definitely worth doing because it just takes you off the road for a bit so that was nice um, but yeah i think we're looking forward to tomorrow we're just gonna have our food and um, just do some bits and bobs and then call it a night i think